question, Gavin. Are computers magic? Yes, but you can buy magic. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Just the Tip Tuesdays. Today we're talking about computer specs for video editing. When you use a computer for video production, the four main components you want to keep in mind are the CPU, RAM, storage drive, and graphics card. A CPU is like the brains of the computer. It does all the processing. The RAM is the short-term memory that has really fast connection to the CPU. The internal storage drive is the long-term storage and has a slower connection to the CPU than the RAM. And the graphics card is like a second brain that's really good at image processing. So what does this have to do with video production? Let's say you're trying to buy a new computer. First thing you want to pay attention to is the CPU. Despite the GPU being really good at processing visuals, almost no editing software fully takes advantage of the GPU for video encoding. You want to look for the fastest clock speed with the fewest cores. Next, you want to look at the RAM. The amount of RAM can significantly impact performance. If your editing program runs out of RAM, it talks to the storage drive, which has a much slower connection to the CPU. 16 gigabytes is a minimum. When it comes to storage, there are two types. There are hard disk drives and solid state drives. Hard disk drives have spinning metal magnetic disks that store your files. With SSDs, your files are stored on chips like SD cards. Your best bet is to use SSDs to work on all your active projects. It's the fastest and best performance. But for the money, you want to go for HDDs for your inactive projects and your long-term storage, plus your backups. Finally, the GPU. GPUs are important, and they really help with playback, especially working with 4K footage. But as you start spending more and more money on them, the performance difference starts to dwindle. That's why we suggest you find a system that has the CPU, RAM, and storage requirements you want first, and then select the highest GPU of the model that you can afford. This is just one way to select the computer for your video editing, and there's lots of other different ways, but it all depends on your particular editing platform. So stick with the basics and you'll come up with a solid computer to work on. What's left? What's left? See you next time. Yeah. See you next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.